Hey everybody, it's Rick with Stumped, and I'm here today playing Mad Max. I'm so stoked about this game, you guys. Let's go ahead and start up a new game here. I already played around for about 10 minutes, got familiar with the game a little bit, but we're going to start a new game so you guys can see it from the beginning, baby. All right, here we go. I've been a huge Mad Max fan for a long time. Very stoked for this game. I'm going to shut up now so you can watch the uh, awesome intro scene. Oh snap, baby. He was one such man, one who had lost all over and over. And to this, he had lost his sanity. His was a never ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. He now had the vehicle. The weapons, the provisions, and the fortitude. Not for long. He only needed the fuel. Oh, not for and long. Here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas tank. All right, now Max is in for it. What's he gonna do? I'd like to think he's gonna get out of it, but I don't think so. Not this time. Oh no, black on black. They're still in it. Oh, they even took his jacket. Messed up, man. Some messed up shit right there. Ooh, puppy dog. Oh, oh, poor puppy. No. That thing is like a weapon from uh, what is it? Dead or Alive Three? No, not Dead or Alive Three. Oh God. Oh. That was gross. Did he survive that? Holy moly. All right, so here are the credits. I'm gonna go ahead and skip past these. All right, now the story begins and they're lost. I've got a puppy friend now. Need water. Every good game starts with a furry companion. All right, let's go find Max some water. Oh, poor guy's limping along, but he's going to help us find some water. That dog's good for something. And this game is just so incredible. When the game Rage came out, this is what I'd hoped Rage would be like. I was so excited, thinking... This is the Mad Max game I've been waiting for, and that game was, it was total letdown. This game, though, granted I've only played about 10 minutes, but I've got high hopes for this. So 
I watched the IGN review for this, and, uh, you know, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing it. And there's so much customizability, you'll find out. But we can customize Max. Uh, oh, no, what happened to the dog? Where'd it go? Oh, God, let's go find him. What happened to you, puppy? Oh, God. That guy is ugly. Chum Bucket. Very nice. Oh, really? I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies, and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. Oh, Max is part of some crazy and cult's Chum prophecy. Your man. I'm your man. Yeah, yes, I am. Do you have a vehicle that can take you to your car? I do, say. That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you do, too. So the dinky do? I think that's what he calls the dog. A little dinky do. I'm going to call my dogs Don't dinky do from now on. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum bucket's not stupid. Not stupid, just ugly. All right, guys. Five minutes in, I've already got a new best friend and an ugly guy, too. Uh, all right, we've got to go speak with Chum Bucket. Let's go see what he wants. Oh, 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 oh. Got kind of caught up there. All right. What you want now, Chum Bucket? Dog's bleeding out. Oh, I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy. But then... I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path. Uh, but before you go, grab some grits and you must be running on fumes. Some grit. Is that a word for food? I don't know. Let's go find out. We need wire and we need grit. On the lookout for some chum bucket wire. So that chum bucket, man, he is looking pretty tore up. I wonder if he's uh, the result of some kind of a nuclear disaster. Because he looks mutated as hell. I'm surprised he doesn't have, like, another head growing out of his shoulder or something. Anything for me? Ammo. All right, two shotgun shells. One thing about this game is ammo is super scarce. So we're going to be relying on hand-to-hand -hand combat way more than we're going to be relying on our shotgun. And this guy has a dirty mouth. You got a real dirty mouth, buddy. There we go. Shut that dirty mouth right up. But now I've only got one more shotgun shell. Alright, let's go see here. Alright, chumps. Ground combat. This is telling us basically these combats. It's like Arkham City. Just leave here. You can see that it'll give us quick time events when we can uh, block. There we go. And if we hold down X, we'll do this charge punch. I love these kind of games, though. Where you're just, like, surrounded by enemies. It makes you feel so powerful. And I'm sure that eventually we're going to be able to level up our attacks. Right now, I just have this pretty simple punch move. But it's getting the job done. Yes. All right, now on to find the wire. This is probably right here where this green icon is. All right. One step closer to fixing Chum Bucket's buggy. And also, we're going to find these scrap bits around the map that we need to collect. Now, let's see. There should be some more scraps around here that we can collect. So let's go take a peek around. Location. It's telling me to hold down L. So what's it saying? Uh, scavenging location can contain useful items such as scrap, ammo, and foods, as well as the project parts and relics. To reveal all scavenging locations, complete survey, crew projects, and stronghold. So there we go. Scraps, one out of two. There's one more scrap in here somewhere. Let's see if we can track that down. Well, everything else around here looks pretty cleaned out. Let's see, let's see. Where the hell are the other scraps? Can 
Can I get in here? Can I get in here? No, no, no. Oh, come on. I know there's got to be scraps around this. You know what? Nuts to this. We'll come back and find the scraps later. I'm not going to waste your guys' time looking for scraps. That's not fun. Racing buggies. That's fun. Knocking dum-dums out. Let's get some more of that going on. And let's see. I guess I could show off the uh, water. I got water earlier. If I hold up on the D-pad, I'll actually drink. Oh, looks like I've already drank the water, though. I'm just going to show that off. That heart meter over there, that's uh, basically my hydration. So I'm about half hydrated right now. And who is this guy? Ooh. That's ominous. Who's that guy? All right, we'll track that guy down later. So I'm going to get this wire back to Chum Bucket, and he's going to fix up his buggy, and then we'll show off one of the other great parts of this game, which is the racing aspect. Ew. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Why are you licking that? Oh. Weirdo, man. Here I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not leaking, are you? Tell me you're not. Now, I'm getting the feeling that... Huh? Chum Bucket's going to be one of those people that's, Raise like, me. ugly and revolting, but by the end of this, we're going to fall in love with him. Something terrible is going to happen to him, no doubt, and then we're going to feel miserable. He's going to be, like, our best friend's oh, best friend. Of course, the dog's our best friend, but Chum Bucket, he's going to rank pretty high up there. All right. Come, come, come. Huh? This way. We're going to need a name for this dog as well, and uh, since Chum Bucket called him Dinky Doo, I think I'm just going to call him Dinky. And look at this. The buggy's got a little home for Dinky right in the back. Put him in there, Max. Easy, dog. Easy. This being a good Australian game. Drive on the uh, right side. And pretty simple controls. Right trigger accelerates. Left trigger reverses. The sooner I get my car back, the sooner I'll be on my way. Oh, amen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo. It doesn't handle very well, though. I'll tell you that much. It drives like a boat. So this game, it's very much like a... Able to spot your car. Shadow of Mordor set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. A lot of uh, open world environment. We can see the camp from up there. Side quests galore. And you can see that this is actually a uh, an old uh, like ocean basin. There's tons of boats. Huh? It anchors oh, here, look. so this place really dried out. Yeah, see, this is where the thick brow squat and cut butchers. In for the dude. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, look. There. Scabra Scotus is their king. Yeah. He was a big boss man from the gas town, you see. So I guess he did survive, which is insane. Yeah, that guy took now. a he's chainsaw the to the head. I'm getting my car back. Wait, wait, please, please. An idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look. Your, your black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car, bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black. This black guys is yeah. another great aspect of this game. So black and black's gone. All right, but Chum Bucket, he's our man. He's gonna help us build a better car. So the car that I'm going to find and build is going to be completely different than the car that anybody else is going to find and build. A lot of customization in this game. I'm super excited for So first part of the quest is we have to go find the chassis for our new car. We can go ahead and use the binoculars. I'm going to be honest, though. They don't zoom that far. Okay, let's get to work. Let's go find the chassis for our new car. What is this place? You are in the outer graves. Over there is the great 
white. An ancient seabed. I'm not sure. No, but we are at the bottom. It doesn't get any lower than this. All right, Chum Buckets hide out. We'll take a quick peek around before we head off. It looks like, yeah, there's a water station over here. Let's go fill up. Now that my canteen's full, I'll show you guys what happens when I drink. Just hold up on the D-stick, or the D-pad, rather. Go ahead and get hydrated there. There we go. It's hot out in this wasteland. It's important that we find water, and water's so scarce. I don't think there's anything else little secret areas around here. I think that water's just about the only thing to offer. All right, let's do this. We will liberate her body from a place sad and strange where the chariots of old went to die. A place I call the graveyard. But we must go in the dead of night when the buzzard guardians are away on their wild. And there are side quests in this game, obviously. I mean, any good game like this is going to have We're awesome side quests. Fuel. But for this playthrough, I'm going to ignore the side quests. We're just going to go on. We should find enough fuel for us to make it to the graveyard. Straight on to the missions. The main story quest missions. All right. Except for this. We will stop here. Over there. Fuel cans. Anything that's green. Any yellows. I'll do that when I'm... Uh, not recording. I mean, I do think it's important that we do that because we do need to level up. All right, that was a bust. But we do have some scraps here. Let's see, over here too. And you can see right there, it tells us when we've looted the place 100%. We've gotten all the scraps there, so you're not going to just be searching aimlessly, wondering if you found everything or not. It's real good at letting you know that you found things. I imagine some people will like that. Some people will complain that it's not really realistic, but, you know... Video games, you know? What prizes do you hold? Oh, out of fuel. Good She's thing we've guess. just stumbled upon this place. Alright, let's block that. There we go. Okay, last punch. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's get those parts now. Give me your parts, you dorks. What a great bounty! We're in luck. Rare hall. We may refuel and demolish. All right, just Hillary. refuel. All the way to the rim. This thing is totally fueled up. And of course, it didn't say that it was 100% complete. So we know that there's some other scraps on here. It looks like this guy's holding out. Give me what you got. And any more scraps, scraps, scraps. Yeah, there we go. I knew there was something else in here. Perfect. 100% looted. We're good to go. I think that we can take another gas can, though. It's always good to have a spare. Now, let us make haste. Before the nightly hunters return to their lair. Oh, God. Let's shag ass before the nightly hunters get back. Splash and split it wide open. Good thing we've got this extra gas tank. So this one count. Don't blow it, Max. Yeah, that should do the trick. Rad. <laughs> Exaltations. She's cracked open. We must hurry. Wardens of this place murder on sight. Oh! I think everybody in this place murders on sight. It's just the way they do business. Whoa! This thing is really hard to handle. I'm hoping that when we get our custom car, things are a little bit easier to navigate. Because this thing turns so wide. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Sorry, I'm totally beating up your car, chum bucket. Oh god. Oh, oh, swingy ones. Uh. Okay. Here we go. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. More traps are hit. Okay, go around the traps, Max. Around the traps. Tread carefully. And we're almost home free. All right, so far so good. No explosions yet. Oh shit. Oh. All right. Come on, it can't be much further now. This thing is, it's like a top speed. Could use a faster car. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh god! Whew! Ah! Oh Jesus! Oh! Oh god, okay, we're okay. We're alright. Took a couple hits, but we're alright. Holy moly. And it looks like we've reached our checkpoint. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. So go ahead, we'll find the chassis for our new ride and we'll call that an episode. I think we're pretty close right now. There! Our prize right for the taking! Go, go quickly! The oh, only way to get up there is through those cave tunnels! Alright, let's the do this. Place down here. I'll lower the body onto it. Oh, who's that? I saw that red glowy-eyed bastard. All right, scraps. So we got 41 scraps. I'm not exactly sure what we use the scraps for yet, but we've got 41 of them. Pretty good stuff. I'm betting we use it to upgrade our car. It's kind of like the in-game currency. Flashlight. Score! Oh, this guy just died, too. This is fresh meat right there. Still works, too. Alright, so I can turn the flashlight off with the uh, left D pad. Oh, I s Oh, there was somebody right there. Right there. Where'd you go? Oh, he's gone now. Ooh, more water. Don't mind if I do. Looks like another zip line. Oh, there's the chassis. So we're almost there. And you've got the whole world up there in your hand. You've got a choice to make. Which one shall be your prize? Choose. You're down here. All right, this is where the customizability begins. So we get a pick our uh, car body. So we've got this one that's kind of like an old Corvette. This one here is like an old Mustang, kind of a uh, Swiftback Mustang. I like that. It's pretty cool. This one's pretty sweet, though, too. And then we've got a couple that are like old-style hot rods. You know, I'm kind of digging Shovel Face. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Shovel Face, that Mustang-esque car body. That'll be the beginning of our new car. Black on black was great, but we're going to create something better. Beyond you, Max! Oh my god. So many of them. Okay, use uh, right button to evade powerful attacks. Oh, this guy's got a knife. Ooh, there's a knife. Can I get it? Pick up the knife, Max. Yeah! Hell yeah. All right, so far so good. We got this, we got this. Oh, look at that. Clutch save. Shit punisher. Oh! Oh! That was nasty, Max. 
And I got the uh, untouchable achievement there. Okay, things are exploding. That's our cue to go. You lose the place 100%. Okay, let it down. Let it down. Hold the break. Oh, yeah, these guys are pissed. Go, Mexico. Go, Mexico. Go, Mexico. And do a little slide down. All right. Let's go, Chum Bucket. Oh, sweet. He's already got the new body put on the car. This guy's good. He works quick. Oh, and here's the car combat, y'all. All right. Pretty easy so far. Left button plus B lets me shoot these guys. And then if I use the X button, we're going to ram them. Woo! All right, I've showed off the uh, blowing up with shotguns. Now let's see if we can't run these next guys off the road. All right, let's demonstrate that a little bit. Oh, I just missed it. There we go. That was one good hit. Let's take this guy out. Come on. You can do better than that, Max. There we go. You too, buddy. Oh! Oh! Whoa! All right. We did it, guys. All right. Ah. Uh. All right, let's go ahead and stop, and then we'll uh, we'll let Chum Bucket fix up our car. Go ahead and uh, repair that for me, Chum Bucket. So that's it, guys. I'm going to call it an end to this episode. That was pretty much the uh, tutorial missions, all right? So we learned our uh, our moves. We learned car combat. Uh, we learned uh, about our new friend Chum Bucket. Uh, but there's so much more to see in this game. Uh, there's a lot of customization. Like I said, we can customize Max, give him cool haircuts, change his clothes, give him a beard, maybe give some scars, just make him our own character. Uh, but I'm wondering, did you guys like this? I hope you did. I could definitely make a series out of this if you guys want me to keep playing. If not, we'll just consider this a little Mad Max featurette. So let me know in the comments, do you want me to keep playing? Because I'll play this thing through till the end if you guys want to watch it. So let me know. But I've been Rick. We've been playing Mad Max. If you guys liked it, Give this video a like, give it a favorite, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Whoa! And I'll see you guys next time.